surf from Hermine kept swimmers out of the water at Pensacola Beach. The red flags flying, not a welcome sign for some tourists leading into the big holiday weekend. CW55's meteorologist Melissa Constanzer tells us what lifeguards are expecting over the next couple of days. Many people come to the beach for the water and waves. But today was all about the sand. Red flags at Pensacola Beach means all swimmers are stuck in the sand. We're just kind of bummed. He was really looking forward to doing some swimming and getting some sun and stuff, so um, the waves are not real safe for that. Usually when we come, it's kind of calm and the kids can play and stuff, so this is something new. Most people didn't try to go in the water. However, there was some confusion as to why surfers were let in on the other side of the pier. Uh, the surfers are usually pretty good about knowing where they can and cannot surf and they've helped us out a lot in the past with uh, rescuing swimmers and whatnot, so we actually really do like the surfers. The red flags are expected to fly tomorrow, keeping swimmers out for another day. That means lifeguards will keep driving up and down the beach, but northerly winds will make the gulf look much different. So these waves are going to be huge, and they're going to be like picture-perfect barrels. So tomorrow morning, the surfing out here is going to be fantastic. And uh, what that's going to do is just going to clean up a lot of the choppiness on the surface, mm -hmm. and it's going to make the gulf look more inviting. That may mean more work for lifeguards to keep everyone out of the water. What could be more disappointing for beachgoers is if those red flags fly through the weekend. As far as Saturday goes, ah, that's a toss-up right now, whether it will be red or yellow. Um, if we do go yellow, we will probably be very busy uh, with the increased crowd numbers for Labor Day weekend. Either way, lifeguards will make their decision each morning to keep swimmers safe. On Pensacola Beach, Melissa Constanzer, CW55 News at 9.